Alabama's Morning News. I'm JT, and joining us now, David Cathy, who's a partner with one of the top recruiting companies in the country, a company called Unity Search Group, and how your next job interview might be with a robot, whether you realize it or not. What? David, welcome in. Thanks for being with me. I appreciate it, JT. Kind of spooky, isn't it? Well, I, I got to tell you, David, uh, Just, just I, I want to get into this robot thing, which uh, to me is just bizarro, but in a grander scheme and picture of things. And I know we're creating all this technology in our lives to make things more convenient, help us do better, you know, make more money as companies because we've got all this technology now to do this or do that. I mean, I was just doing a story about 20 minutes ago about how Instagram now uh, is coming up with a platform for kids under the age of 13. Facebook Messenger already has a platform for kids ages six to 13. What are we doing? What are we creating with all this technology? You know, in the guise of, oh, it's going to be more convenient and better for our lives. It'll make it easier and better. But aren't we really kind of going in a weird direction, don't you think? Yeah, just hearing what you just said, it feels like a double-edged sword, and it really is when you when you consider the mental health of people in this world and how it's kind of taken a little bit of a turn, especially with all of the social media. Oh, my gosh. I think I, social media is just, um, and, and here I am on Facebook Live talking about how Facebook is coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but let's talk about this robot now. So I guess they've got a robot that uh, looks at analytics on a resume and says yes or no. W what about the human interaction? Are we getting rid of that completely? No, no. And here's the thing, JT. We've been using algorithms and artificial intelligence for a long time in the interview process, whether it's running queries to hit on keywords to figure out what resumes to look at for a job, or it's doing a personality test. The difference is over the last few years, as you, as you stated, it's just we have just accelerated, right? We put the pedal all the way down, and I don't think this train is going to turn around. I mean, it, the AI artificial intelligence train has left the station. Yeah, no doubt about it. So let's talk about this uh, resume. If I'm in the uh, market for a job or there's somebody listening right now going, hmm, interesting, there may be a company that might be using this already. What do I need to put into my resume where this, you know, robot or the analytics it's looking at goes, oh, yeah, this is a good candidate? Yeah, yeah. Well, first, it's really knowing what you're good at, and you have to pay attention to what the job, what the employer is looking for, and understanding maybe it's their industry or the keywords of your particular field. And you have to customize your resume just a little bit to hit on those certain items that are the most important for that job. And I think if you do that, your chances of coming back on a you know, a query that gets put into a system to pull these keywords increases. Yeah, I think that you said something that's pretty important. You need to customize your resume for the specific interview. I've always believed that not the specific field that you're in, but actually the person and company that you're about to work for. They don't really care if you're going to go look for a computer assisting job that you paint, to, you know, fish in your spare time. I mean, that's these right. types of things. These types of things on resumes are bizarre. So what I'm hearing is, you know, if you see a job uh, posted and the boss that's going to be posting this and talks about exactly what the position is, it might be a good idea to actually repeat some of that exact language in what you're looking for. That's right. I mean, look, we're not talking about a complete overhaul of your resume, but we're talking about very specific points that you realize if you're good in that field, you're going to know the hot buttons and you want to make sure those hot buttons are on your resume. You don't want to just copy and paste what's on the job description and put it into your resume because you're right. going to get ferreted out pretty quickly there. Oh man. All right. Any other advice for those putting their resume together this morning? as they get into interviews maybe next week. Yeah, well, outside of just getting uh, getting your resume together, I think the three takeaways would be just getting yourself in the right frame of mind. If you go ahead and assume that you are going to be talking to a robot or a chat bot on your first round interview, make yeah. that assumption and get yourself prepared. If it happens to be a human, all the better.
Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, good advice. Interesting, David, Kathy, thank you so much. The company is called Unity Search Group, a top recruiting company here in the country, and the use of robots out there now.